Let's check in with uh, Dave Warren. Last we saw, that system was moving to the north. Does it continue that? Dave? Yes, these uh, showers trying to work their way north through the area. Now, this is the uh, concern. This is a flood advisory. An aerial flood advisory means the entire area, not one specific region, uh, seeing some minor flooding. Uh, had a rain shower that went through it earlier. Now, this is going a little farther north, turning a little more north. So maybe near the turnpike up towards Okeechobee Road and 75 possibly uh, could see some heavier rain showers. But I think for the most part that is staying just north of the advisory area uh, that storm there off Port Everglades was what came through, dumped about an inch to two and a half inches of rain inside that advisory area, quickly moved off the coast. This, though, is slowing down but turning a bit farther north, so impacting the turnpike right now and is in northern Miami-Dade, could continue to drift north into parts of Broward County. If you're near 75 on either side there, you may get uh, some of those downpours. And one area near Lauderdale Lakes, uh, that continues to move north, but just some light to breathe. Briefly moderate rain uh, continues to move to northern Broward County. But again, all this activity is moving from south to north. So uh, out ahead of this, Broward County is still not quite clear of all the rain yet. Clear in parts of Miami-Dade, clear in the Keys, maybe a few lingering showers there. Otherwise, we'll say showers with downpours mainly up to the north now, then spotty showers by 10 o'clock, winding down mostly cloudy about midnight tonight overnight. Uh, you won't wake up that way, though. More showers will develop. They could be around tomorrow morning, possibly even thunderstorm. A little more sunshine, maybe a stray shower midday, but as things heat up tomorrow, uh, the interior could see these gusty storms developing as we still have that warm, humid air over the area, and that stays that way until that front comes through and is not coming through yet. Uh, overnight tonight, midnight, a little break in the activity. There are those showers waking up tomorrow morning. They move off the coast midday, but to look at the interior, those storms there that could be strong with gusty downpours, possibly even severe. We are in a marginal risk there just south of that cold front for strong to even severe storms throughout the day tomorrow. So stay up to date. Make sure you have a way to get warnings if the one of these storms does happen. Happen, uh, to get a little strong and go severe. Saturday, not nearly as stormy, just clouds around, maybe a stray shower, not much sunshine, but that changes by Saturday night to Sunday. The breeze picks up and we start to see the cooler air pushing into the area. Extended forecast has showers around on Saturday, a cooler breeze coming in on Sunday. That's a chilly start on Monday. The front comes through. There's a chill in the air to start. Then we gradually warm up Tuesday into the upper 70s, near 80 degrees with a few showers around by Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you.